But the, but the last verse says, you must prophesy again. Even if we were wrong in 1844, the Adventists were wrong in 1844, the Bible says you must prophesy again. That means <clears throat> we have to tell the world Jesus is coming soon. Do you know that the second coming is a prophecy? So Seventh-day Adventists, just by their name, we are supposed to be prophets. We are supposed to tell the world, actually our name, Adventist, it means that Jesus is coming soon. So just by our name, we are already, it's already a prophecy, and we are supposed to be prophets. We should not prophesy things that are not in the Bible, because in the Old Testament, prophets who prophesy things that are not God's, from God does, the penalty is death. If you claim to be uh, saying this is God wants, but you are telling things that are not according to the Bible, the Bible's uh, penalty for that is death. Of course not now, maybe later. Yan. So everybody should be true prophet. Let us only say things that are in the, prophesy things that are according to the Bible. Yan. Okay. So everybody class has, a, has something to do. Nobody will reach heaven who is lazy. Everybody is, I know, everybody is getting somebody else. Gift of prophecy. How do you know? Diba, the Bible has 66, how many books does the Bible have, sir? 60 something books, 66 books. Okay, it's very easy. These days you don't have to memorize anything. Just ask Google, how many books in the Bible? <coughs> 66 books. Imagine you get into the library, the Dead Sea Scrolls. There are Greek, there is a cave where all the scrolls are Greek. There is a cave where all the scrolls are Hebrew. And you read all of them, they look like the Bible. Then it verifies the Bible. But how do you know which one to put in the Bible? How do you know which of the books to include in the Bible? How do you know which one is God's book? Why do you know which one is not God's book? That is the question, right? How did they come up with the Bible? The Bible is a books, book, compilation of books that, that cross about 1,700 years of writing. Most of them, they don't know each other. So it's like a library. But how do they know what books to include in the Bible and what books not to include in the Bible? That was my question. Then I realized this one. <clears throat> the Bible says, God will not leave himself without a witness. So in every generation of history, there is always a prophet who is telling God, uh, who is telling the people, this is God's will. Yeah? For example, in the time of Moses, Moses was there. Did they believe Moses? Yes. Why? Because he comes with a rod bec that becomes snake. <laughs> right? Did they believe Abraham? Yes, because everybody is from Abraham, right? Father Abraham, everybody's descendant of Abraham, then whatever Abraham says, he is a man of faith. Do they believe Adam? Yes, because Adam was talking to God. He was the first creation. So whatever Adam said, they all believe, right? So Adam lived 900 something years. He, had, he was preaching to all his descendants. This is God, what God, this is what happened to us, why we fell into sin. This is God, what God said, what God said, what God said just by telling. So <clears throat> if Enoch says something that is not according to what Adam said, they know Enoch is lying. How do they know Enoch is telling the truth? Because they heard Adam. You have a reference, right? You know Adam is telling the truth because he met God himself. So if Enoch says something that is not according to Adam, uh, Enoch is lying. But if Enoch is saying everything according to what Adam was saying, which he heard from God personally, then Enoch is true prophet, right? So if Adam dies, Enoch now is living. Now everybody believes Enoch because everything Enoch says is also what Adam was saying. So there is a witness still. What if God took away Enoch? So who do we? There maybe God will provide another prophet. So there is a reference. There are many people who are talking, but you know somebody who you are sure. And about Jesse Moses, Moses is there. If you don't know what to do, you ask Moses. Because Moses is saying the same things that Abraham was saying, that Enoch was saying, that Adam was saying. So how, do they, how are they sure that Malachi, 
uh, ano pa yun? Samuel and uh, David and Song of Solomon and Esther. How do, I, how do they know that they are true writings? If they agree with those that are sure previously, you understand? They agree with Adam, they agree with Abraham, they Moses, and so on. How do you know John, Matthew, Mark, Luke are true? Because they agree with Moses, with Isaiah, with Jeremiah. So that's how it is. How do you know if I am, if Sir Pasamba is telling the truth? If I agree with the Bible, right? How do you know Ellen White is telling the truth? You read the Bible, you read her writings, and you will know if they agree, if they are according. So anybody who talks, how do you know if they are telling truth or not?